Good morning. Well, I'm pushing this video in front of me for day after day because I wanted to show you an uh, innov innovative and finished product. But that's not how it went. <laughs> the goal was a system big enough to provide energy today and tomorrow. Also, it had to be maintenance-free, worry-free, and lightweight, since it is in a floating house. So the plan is six solar panels of 500 watts on the roof, and a 48 volt battery with 100 amp hours that provide 5 kilowatts. Then connected to a controller inverter all-in-one, that provides 110 and 240 volts it can provide up to 6 kilowatts and it can be charged with up to 140 volts from the solar panels and also has a, a charging possibility like an entry for the generator this idea posed a big challenge here in el salvador since lithium batteries are not on the market anywhere and other batteries are out of the questions for uh, weight and performance reasons. There are regular MPPT controllers on the market and also inverters for 110 volts but uh, a combined controller inverter that allows for 110 and 240 volts no, is not to be found. There is no way that I as a tourist can uh, organize and import all these parts and elements. So I was looking around and I found a company, Sol Verde, a company that does solar installations and uh, agreed to tackle this project. So, and guess what? After two weeks, they already had everything organized. Only, it turned out the battery was defect. And now the real trouble began. Sol Verde ordered a new battery in China through a subcontractor that does the import. Delivery time, two and a half months. <laughs> so, well, yeah, only this subcontractor never delivered the battery. Since I wanted to move into the house, uh, in the meantime I bought a 200 amp hour 12 volt battery and uh, stole the 3 kilowatt inverter from Yerba Buena and also a spare MPPT controller. So at least I had lights and uh, music and I uh, could even use some of the hand tools. Well, let's get all these goodies home. First I'm going to install the aluminum square tubings on the roof. They will be the base for the solar panels to sit on.
Instead of buying expensive fasteners for the panels, I just uh, got some metal bars and drilled some holes and painted them with epoxy. To install the panels, I hired Oscar again with his helper. Now I'm making a wall design and a place and I define where every element will be hanging on the wall later on. So, this is my solar system. We have the Growbot. It's a controller and also inverter for 6000 watts. On the bottom is the 100 amp battery, 48 volts. That little thing there is the switch to isolate the solar panels. And then the AC house network or house center. Very simple. No fuses, no shunts, no nothing. Everything is inside that robot. It's a fantastic machine. Oh, and yes, this is the first installation with a 48 volts and a controller inverter all in one uh, in Panama. There is no other lithium battery in El Salvador. I'm wondering if this is going something happen. One, two. Welcome to use Smart BMS. Press menu key. Pack volume 50 volts 0.04. SOC 100%. I think we should probably be able to turn it on. Inverter on. Well, this is amazing. Whoa! I guess. Now let's go and see what happens over there if we actually turn something on. Oh. But for this, we probably have to turn on something here, the freezer. Let's see if the cool cooler works. Let's see if this is going. Wow, this would be so amazing. Yeah, it's plugged in. There's no light going on here. I don't know what, oh, AC in, AC out is not on. AC input, AC output, that's what we're doing. What? Nothing happening.
Well, <coughs> that's it. The battery is not working. It's nothing. So the battery and the controller go back to Solverde and they do some more testing and also if they or when they have a new battery they will test it with the controller in their uh, center before they deliver everything out here again. First, this one, Coco. This one first. This this is the last one. No, I don't. Oh. There we go. No, no, I can. I can do it. Ah. I thought I'm I'm fucking Hulk, I can do this, but guess what? I just never ate enough Kellogg's to put this thing up here on these screws. I have to go and get some help. It's too much money to destroy. No, 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 no. Puedo, puedo montar una, una, una. Vaya, miremos. No, pero es que no le cuesta. ¿Ves? Tense, tense la línea que los ayude. De arriba. Vamos para arriba. Yo, eh. Falta uno aquí. Aquí está bien. Ah. Hey. Es que esto, esto, no lo deja de fuerza. Gracias, gracias, gracias. No, no, eh, eh, esta no es la batería que pone aquí. No, esto por el momento está. Okay. I thought I'm gonna have everything done in five hours, but the whole day is done, gone, and guess what? It's installed on the wall, and I even got the battery installed. All the cables still have to be connected, and I have to switch around the solar panels on top of the roof. So I guess. We're gonna work tomorrow again, so there we go. We got the battery now and this one is working together with this controller and inverter and you see it's charging right now from the solar panels directly to the to the installation to the devices and also charging the battery. We got 53 volts right now and we are at 34 percent because i turned it off yesterday the solar panels uh, and forgot to turn it back on again so until this guy told me to so. then we got the switch that's what i turned off yesterday <laughs> for the solar panels and we got the distribution panel with all the goodies that we now have clothes washer I finally can use this thing. Pretty cool, huh? Of course the fridge is working now. 
and the freezer which is really important for coco my friend these are all coco's bones you know every day he gets one bone and i got bacon that i have to smoke so yeah i'm really happy now i got ice for my drinks cool and i got 240 in the kitchen i'm sure nika is smiling now that's the machine she brought me but those is 240 volts <laughs> yeah i'm quite happy now so. and uh i'll show you well i can show you the work lights in the kitchen so it's really handy to work with these bright lights all the other lights are not bright but i show them to you when it's dark another time so see you then